The Norwegian Joy just left the Damon Shipyard in Rotterdam, Holland after a four-week dry dock. The biggest installments have been a thermal spa and the removal of the laser tag area to enhance Vibe Beach Club. She has made her way back to Southampton and is now ready for a transatlantic sailing to Miami. Tag along, I'll share all there is to share from boarding the ship, sail away, the food, the menus, the bars, the entertainment and even the parts where we just wander around, plus some tips and tricks. With fresh paint and a new carpet, we're bringing her back to the USNA. a thing. You came to the right place. Welcome to Bram Sees the Day. Welcome to a brand new cruise vlog series. For the next couple of weeks I'll be sharing all there is to share about the Norwegian Joy. It's cruise number eight with NCL for me but first time on the Joy. So I'm excited to see what's in store. And there will be plenty of time for that because we have 11 days at sea. If you are new to this channel, hi, my name is Bram and I try to make my vlogs in such a way it gives you the feeling that you are here. Also joining me today is my girlfriend Melly. She flew in from Munich and I flew in from Brussels and so we are both here in Heathrow. We have spent the night at the Hilton Garden Inn at Terminal 2 and 3. I can highly recommend it. The room, the runway bar, room service last night. It's all very nice. But today is cruise day. Are you excited? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. We booked transportation through NCL, so we have a coach taking us from here to Southampton. Norwegian Joy. Here we come. This line and that wall is a security area which took us about 25 minutes to get through over to the check-in desks right here which also was only five minutes. Easy. She hates this picture. Thank you. I was waiting for you. I saw that. Thank you. Melly doesn't like these pictures with the fake backgrounds and in her defense if you're running around with a guy like me holding a camera you have plenty of pictures if you want. Our excitement is rising. The next time we set foot on land is 12 days from now when we arrive in Miami. From this point on, all we have to do is relax and slow down. And we start with the gangway, my most favorite part of any cruise, and especially this one, because this time we're only doing it once, more than ever. This time, the journey will be the destination. Enter dramatic music.
Okay. So we should do the muster station first. And it says on the cruise card, so. You have to go to deck seven uh, and go all the way for deck seven. Uh, back. Yeah. No, I thought uh, you were looking for a must station here and then ask. I thought uh, Trust they, me, they if only you, if you work so, on a cruise ship, uh, you have to know the master station. You get drills every week. No. Sure. In, in case really? of emergency. So if you're crew, Talk. you have to know where you are. But he has to look. It's the casino. Yeah? He has to look. What the heck is this? What floor are we on? I don't know. We can watch at the elevator. Yeah. I can have a look. Hello. Hi. Hello. She only wants to be on my camera. Oh. <laughs> casino? No. I have six. It's got to be at least six. seven. Cook. I have seven here. Yeah. So then we only have to go there. F7. Hello. Hi, how are you guys? Thank you. Wait, you don't need to come back here, sir, madam. Once you hear some announcement, you're good to go. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a good day. I always do muster station first. Get it over with right away. This is mandatory and the ship cannot leave until all passengers have done this. It is essential that you know where to go in case of emergency. Now we can turn on our cruise mode. And the only question is, do we go for lunch or should we get a drink first? Lunch or drink? Drinks or food? What time is it? Uh, 1.25. That's two. Two? What two? Two late for lunch, I think. For tastes. Typically, I try to have my first lunch at Savor or Taste, but they serve until 2 o'clock. So we're too late for that. So what's plan B? Just something yeah. in your tummy. Yeah. Right. The buffet. I got some spaghetti and uh, pasta. pasta. Green sauce. Problem is, since it's closing in 15 minutes, we're gonna think about it for 15 minutes. Enjoy. Just a quick pit stop, but just enough to get us through the next four hours to dinner. Now we can validate the real beginning of our vacation with a drink. And after that we check out the cabin. I'm curious, balcony cabin this time. Question remains, what bar are we going to? All the bars here. Let's go eight and then and then we can go down from there. Yeah. Can we take the stairs? We are on 60, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and was that a no? Down is good. It's okay. Uh, like I say, 50% of the time you take the stairs. It's, it's better than 0%. Mm -hmm. What's with the carpet? I like the color, the dark uh, blue. It's not so kitschy, like green, red. Or... Oh, it feels like coming home. It's... You, feel, you feel at home? 
Yeah, back on, on my NCL. Your shows. home is where your NCL yeah. ship is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it can be that your first cruise ship is what you consider the standard of what you like, but that's an, and, you, and that's not your case. Your first two cruises were on uh, Royal Caribbean, mm -hmm. yeah. so, and you prefer it you know, over Royal Caribbean. Okay, I think it's yes. now I think 15 years ago, so. Those ships have changed. Yeah. 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 Also to friends, and now I start traveling by myself. So maybe you have another uh, look or another. And I'm older. That's that's you're old. So, yeah. Older. That's <laughs> that's the reason. No, but but I said the icon of the seas for me. Now no. no. Too too busy. Too busy, much. Too much. Too, too, and you want to see it all, but you don't have enough time if you only do yes, a week. Seven, yes, seven days, and seven. you're not a millionaire, so you cannot do it two weeks. That bar is open. My camera seems to be close to a ventilator or something, so let me fill you in. We're making a bet how many drinks will we have had by the end of the cruise. Whoever loses space for two specialty dinners and the winner is the one that's closest to the number of drinks. Play along in the comments section. How many do you think? Only the ones we're having together count though, but I presume that will be all of them. And only adult beverages. Does this make us alcoholics? You know what, I don't know, but I'm curious to see what your guess will be. Time for Sail Away.
It was a very early night for me last night. I think I did too much work on the days before I came to this cruise. And uh, now my body is saying, slow the F down. So that was exactly what I did last night. What we did last night, you did not miss one thing. But today, I woke up to this. So today is party time. Uh, to be very honest, thank you. This is my present. I always wanted this. <laughs> um, to be very honest, I'm not in a party mood yet. But let's start off this birthday day. Is it a birthday day? No, it's just a birthday. Mm -hmm. With breakfast at the restaurant. So savor or taste. Good idea. Whatever, left or right wherever we end up. How are you this morning? Good. You sleep okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah means yes, eh? Um, you ready for breakfast? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, and then I need to unpack because I did absolutely, like I said, I did absolutely nothing. We had some drinks. Yeah. Which we will share later. We had some drinks. Surprise, surprise. Uh, so, and then I need to come back and unpack and, and do like boring stuff on my laptop and for this vlog and stuff. But join us for breakfast. It's on six, six I think, yeah. We leave this car so okay. I can charge my... Okay. It's not over here. What's this? Da -da. I have a decorated door. Yeah. Did it was me. Does it come off or stickers? No. It's a magnet. And you also as a magnet. I'm a magnet now? You're a magnet now. Decorated door. I know that you like this balloon. That you really like such kitschy. I and love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my head is about to explode, but it feels nice. So, uh, it's oh, uh, different. It's different. <laughs> it's his birthday. Y'all, y'all, happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you. So here, down. It only has one good side. So a woman outside understand that you have a good side and a bad side. A good and a bad. And you want to show? You always want to show only, the best only side. Only the good side, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it. I'm so fast, so early in the morning. Deck six. We'll see you at either a savor or a taste. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my god, your birthday's on Valentine's Day. Oh, like he didn't know. I'm sorry, I'm letting you know. <laughs> how did you get his return in here? You guys went to the you were in the elevator, elevator before us? Right? Yeah. And now we yeah. Oh, we had yes. another passenger with us in the elevator. Oh, okay. That's right. And he was playing with us. Have a great meal. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. That's good. Savor and Taste are two restaurants located across from each other that share the exact same menu. For dinner, they both also share the same menu as the main dining room called Manhattan. But unlike Manhattan, they are also open for breakfast and lunch. Other options for breakfast or lunch are the buffet on deck 16 and the local bar and grill on deck 7. I tend to switch them up depending on the time and the mood, so today's mood is ordering a la carte. It is after all a party day today, although it feels like I haven't woken up yet. <laughs> they don't need to wake up. Like me. Yeah. Good morning. Blueberry muffin. Would you like to try? Yes. Good 
We put two for sharing. Sharing is caring. Caring is loving. Love, love, love. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Good morning. Very much. Nice try. 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 Nice I really enjoy having breakfast here, especially on a sea day, when you take your time for everything, you know? Keep in mind that both restaurants serve lunch only on sea days. They are closed when in port, except for embarkation day. Also, the opening times can vary based on your cruise, but it should be roughly the same. Are we good here? Yeah, thank good. you. May I? Yes, you may. Thank you so much. Thank you. The egg was okay, ma'am. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Whenever you order egg, it will always come to Come to You order two? Then I have four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, two, one, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. Two, two, one, three, four. Two, yellow. You want two, yellow? Yeah. You mean the eggs or? Because the eggs come uh, two. Oh, they come by two. Oh, yeah. yeah, two yes. Yeah. And that case is one. In case one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who that? 15. Uh, 16. You ready to go swimming? Swimming. To the... no. Okay. Okay, back in the cabin. Uh, breakfast was perfect. What more can I say? It's uh, it's breakfast. It is nice uh, to get breakfast in the uh, in the restaurant. I like it. It's more it's more relaxed. And in the morning, you could tell. I'm not really awake for the first couple of hours, so um, if I can have a relaxed breakfast, that helps me. Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, something I cannot say about the weather. It's not terrible. Let me take you outside. Now that I have the luxury of a balcony. You can feel the ship rocking, not in a way that I said, oh my god, I should have taken some uh, medication, some seasickness uh, sea sickness tablets, uh, or whatever you call them. I never took them, ever, and I am pretty sensitive. If I go to like theme parks, uh, most of the rides are not for me. I grow up. Uh, not on the ship, though. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, but it is... It's pretty cold and windy and chilly. So, inside is definitely better or warmer. Um, like I said, I need to unpack. I did not unpack last night, so I need to do that in order to get this room organized a little bit. And then, I, speaking of organizing, I need to organize uh, the footage from uh, yesterday and um, get it as fast as possible get it out like i did just right now so today is my birthday and that does include a birthday dinner which is going uh, to be at le bistro tonight at eight o'clock now i made a reservation for le bistro uh, before we got on board, like a week ago, through uh, our booking site or through the app, I think. No, not the app, through the website on NCL. But the only options available tonight were for four people or more. Um, the option of two was not there. So 
I booked a table for four and I'm looking for two more people <laughs> to join us. No, uh, I booked a table for four and Melly is now uh, gone down to change that booking into a booking for two. It was either that or finding two other people. Um, but I think, yeah, it's Valentine's Day. It's my birthday. Though I want strangers at the table. No, I don't think so. So that will be happening tonight. Uh, I Looking at the uh, Freestyle Daily, uh, I see there's a uh, magic show, Illusionists, going on both at 7 and 9. So we will not make it for the 9 o'clock showing, but I'm thinking maybe 7. So some magic first, then some dinner, like a magical dinner. And then some magical drinks, because Mally wants to get to that 66 drinks by the end of the cruise. She's down five, she's on 61. Well, we both are. Um, she will not make it. This morning at breakfast, she, she tried to uh, persuade me to uh, change that bet into um, 59 drinks. That was her... Um, request uh, so yeah I refused of course a bet is a bet 66 is a lot um, she was pretty drunk last night because I'm drinking beer and she's drinking gin and tonic but hey it all comes with a bet I should have thought about that before anyway I'll keep doing what I do unpack computer video files get myself organized and I'll fast forward to how about five let's fast forward to five and have some drinks in a bar somewhere you're about to find out in three seconds and I have six hours to think about it I'll see you right there right now <laughs> Call me crazy, but I am not a big mojito fan. We're going for Prosecco in a mojito bar. Why here then? I'm determined to show you all the bars and this is a fleet favorite. You'll find this place quite full most of the time. At this moment, most people are having dinner, so it's good timing. <laughs> The show was decent with the expected illusions, but his English had a strong Chinese accent making it almost impossible to understand for my German girlfriend. So let's try a French accent, because uh, we are going to Le Pistro ce soir. We enjoy la cuisine française. Ça sera bien. Oui. Could we get two glasses of uh, Prosecco, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
If you saw my previous vlogs and previous dinners at Le Bistro, you already know what I'll be having. Escargots, mushroom soup and Dover Sol with fries, no ketchup, instead of the Chateau potatoes. Why the same every time? Because I dream about these dishes during the months leading up to the cruise. I was ready for tonight's dinner even before booking the cruise.
the music stopped yeah. and nobody had the bowl. Yeah. And okay, okay, okay. Then they had to wait enough. five minutes until yeah. somebody yeah. finally managed to catch the bowl. Yeah. Yeah, and his English was really, yeah. really I poor, right? I have to study for uh, five years to understand uh, the like yeah. like yeah. like this. This is new, huh? This is super sale. Super bright. This is not open or what? Yes, it is. You have to open the door. Yeah. The band gave it their best shot with the keyboard player doing both piano, horns and guitar solos. Let's finish the night at the Skyline Bar in the casino for a nightcap. Or two, or, or three. Filipino singing blues, we have Filipino singing language. And then what, what, what else is there? Say hello to Stephen. Hi! <laughs> and the birthday girl. Like this, like this. Now, I know you don't like country, but the country part. That's the proper guy. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You like to have something? I dropped the. Yes, chocolate. please. Could we get a Stella and a Tanqueray and Tonic, please? Thank you. You'll be surprised. Thank you. He's going to give me something. Give Dean or 16? No. Nice view. Did Seven. I give him my card? Thank you. Yeah. Did Thank you get you my so. card? Yeah. Thank you. I have to leave. I don't. Closer than me? Good evening, good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All I care. Depends when you wake up, folks. <laughs> Thank you. Our, our lucky number. Lucky 14. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks so much. Oh, they have different uh, one-page menus now. Ah, yeah. Printed really tiny letters. Or am I getting old? <laughs> so I can read it. Are you please order or I give you just a minute? I'm ready if you are. Uh, no, no, you're not ready. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking, I'll be thinking, back. Yeah. Okay. I'll That's, just get thank the... You. Maybe I'm going also for... It's always... <laughs> <laughs> it's very female of you to not be ready. A man goes like, yeah, food, I want food. Uh, 
I don't care. Well, give me chicken wings, give me cheeseburger, give me. <laughs> yeah. Give me too much, I'm fine. <laughs> That's the thing, give me and too much. And the girl much. is like, uh, I don't know. I was thinking chicken wings, but maybe he's having a cheeseburger and me just chicken wings. No, in that case, I would like chicken wings and something else. A Caesar salad, but I just had a Caesar salad. So I'm not going for the Caesar salad. <laughs> but I've been thinking but about the I'm definitely going for chicken wings. So maybe but, need, but then chicken that. wings and a cheeseburger? No, that would be too, no, much. too much. So what's less? Not a hot dog, but I don't really I'm not really in the mood for a hot dog. And a Reuben, but that's oh, just a sandwich. Come, and come. fish and chips. Oh what I need two more minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah. Was it was that your brain and yeah, yeah. 30 seconds? So I think, yeah, a guy just thinks uh, food now. Bring, bring food me now. Eat. Bring hungry. food me now. Hungry I am. Eat I must. Mm. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't. You never saw. She never saw Star Wars. I know. I know. How can you not see Star Wars? <laughs> yes, yes. But now we must eat. Come. <laughs> Good food. <huh? laughs> <sighs> cannot be perfect, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But you're very close. Yeah. Thank you. You want to start with a chip? Oh no, you get a cheese curry. Yes. But you can have here. It's not really my thing, but go okay. for it. February 15th, 2024. My birthday is officially over. The um, cabin door decorations um, are removed and everything is sort of like back to normal. I'm fighting a slight headache <laughs> from uh, what I presume is the um, out was was the alcohol uh, last night yesterday was fun as you could tell i was however as you could tell slightly frustrated with the um, the level of entertainment which of course is all a matter of taste and personal preferences but to me i think the the quality was um below what I'm used to from NCL if I can put it that way it is what it is we had a great time no matter what but now I need to slow down a little bit and in order to do that I will take this uh, vlog on a six day break because this is an 11 day Atlantic crossing and I'm thinking should I share every breakfast, every lunch, every dinner, every drink that might uh, that might be boring? So here's the plan. In those six days, I gather all the information that I can possibly gather and share it all on the next vlog. I can already assure you there will be a lot because I'm I started to make a list and and. There's a lot. There was a lot of questions I had before coming on board the ship, um, not only with the remodeling and uh, what's new on board the Norwegian Joy, but also how, how will I experience an 11-day Atlantic crossing, 11 days at sea. That was my main question. Will it all be food, eating and drinking, 
and things like that and then be bored for the rest of your day so one of the things i'll be doing is i'll be tracking uh the weather and um i'll share that with you every day from day to day um as it um as we get closer to uh miami and another big thing i was wondering about is obviously cruises like this 11 days at sea will not attract a younger crowd but what kind of crowd does it attract and also how does that influence the deck parties uh, i cannot imagine a um, 80s party um, in this kind of weather with a crowd that's let's say on average at least over 60 which by all means don't get me wrong is not a problem for me I actually prefer a slightly how should I say more experienced crowd it uh, it feels nicer it's uh, it feels more more civilized in most cases but I am interesting to see for instance the club at night um, will that be happening or Will everybody be in bed by 11? I'm not saying when you're over 60, you should be in bed by 11, but you know what I mean? I'm very curious to see how, how, how that all is. And I, like I said, I have a lot of tips and tricks. For instance, for the Wi-Fi, I'm currently on the premium streaming package. Uh, does that actually work? I already noticed that the ship uh, is on the Starlink so uh, the wi-fi connection should be way better than what it was before will i be able to get my videos out to you during the cruise that's all things that i am wondering about also we have a drinking package and you saw we did the bet so the bet is will we have 66 drinks or will melly have 66 drinks by the end of this cruise i think that's a that's a lot she's a she's a small girl uh but i also know she'll be going for it she'll be uh doing her best um i'll get back to you with all of that and hopefully in between i can manage to get a ship tour out to you and on top of that who knows if the weather changes, if the weather turns around, I can share you the extended uh, Vibe Beach Club. Maybe get a day pass for that. Thank God I didn't take a uh, full cruise length pass for Vibe on this transatlantic crossing because it's uh, uh, day three and it's way too cold. So I'm very interesting to see how all of that evolves how all of that uh, continues so i hope to see you back on the next episode please uh do me a favor by hitting that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, my name is bram my channel is bram sees the day but you figured that out by now thank you as always for watching let's um let's i had to think about that but let's end this vlog with some views from around the ship i'll take you outside show you what it's like on day three of this transatlantic crossing next time you'll see me it will be day nine so i look forward to seeing you there once again for the second part of this transatlantic cruise on board the norwegian joy again thanks for watching i hope you subscribe and you automatically see the next video and it's free. My name is Bram. Signing out. Somewhere here. Oh, where's the button? Oh, right here.